guys, so today I'm going to be doing something really, really fun. Just kidding. It's gonna be really horrible and painful. I'm going to be reading some of the worst hate comments I have gotten on my YouTube channel. And why would I do such a thing? Like, why would I bring attention to hateful and mean things people say to me? Let's face it. Haters are people too. There is a living, breathing human being behind that username, Fatballs69. He is more than just a dude with his shirt off taking a mirror pic in his thumbnail. He is a man who has been through struggles. He might have a family. So I really feel like these people deserve my attention, at least just for one video, so we can hear them out, listen to their opinions, and see what they're all about. That person, we don't know what they're going through. Maybe they got like a D on their last math test. Maybe their Wi-Fi connection's been really slow. Maybe their library book is overdue. Maybe their Call of Duty disc just got too scratched up and they can't use it anymore and they don't have insurance on it and now they have to go buy a whole entire new game and it's like $40 at GameStop. So when someone tells you something negative in the comment section of your YouTube channel or your Facebook or your Instagram or your Twitter, just let it go because we don't know these people, they don't know us. On the internet, a lot of things can get misinterpreted. Uh, I know a lot of the times, a lot of the hateful or negative comments that I receive are from people who just like aren't seeing eye to eye with me. And instead of just saying, oh hey, I don't agree with you and here's why, they have to say, I'm going to kill you and pee in your eyes or possibly shit on you. I get that a lot. I don't know why people want to shit on me. So here are just a few hate comments that I've gotten. So this one, very straight to the point. I really like the fact that the girl didn't write like a whole entire elaborate hate speech. This girl's probably got better stuff to be doing with her time. A lot of people who hate on me on my channel like to call me a slut. Like for example, this guy, what a tasteful slut. But I like that he did give me a little bit of a compliment. So tasteful slut, I think of maybe like Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman. This one, also very straight to the point, not sure if it's a hate comment, cause F you can be a lot of things. It could be friend you or f <laughs> you, you're a <laughs> who's trying to preach about <laughs> that you don't even deserve to talk about because you're so much worse. I just don't get that one. I had to read that like five times. You're a whore. There was no surprise based on the amount of cleavage and the way you talk. If cleavage is gonna offend you so much, I really suggest that you just stay inside at all times. Don't go out ever anywhere. Sometimes when I go to the mall, it's just like cleavage central and I just can't take it. I feel like I just wanna gouge my eyes out. Ombre look. Really? Your hair just looks horrible with the extensions. Don't make a fool of yourself. Místo toho ochutnávání radši ukáž koze. Thank you. This one scares me. I kill kids in Detroit and you're crying over a cat. Why are you killing kids in Detroit? So those are all the hate comments that I'm going to read. Moral of the story is that some people are bored, some people are having a bad day, and you should never take these people seriously and don't respond to them. Three hours later, you're just gonna be like, why did I spend the last three hours of my life arguing with a guy on the internet? I don't know, maybe I should go and do something more productive with my time. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you're having an amazing week and I'll see you in my next video.